Hello everybody, this is Jeff at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a look at the Kirk T-Connector vehicle wiring harness with this four-way flat trailer connector. Now this is a custom fit part. It is designed to fit the 2012 to 2014 Ford Focus hatchback vehicles. And on a custom fit like this part, I do recommend for you to go to our website, use the fit guide, put in your year and model vehicle, and it'll show you if this will work for your application. Now this harness here provides this four-way flat trailer connector at the back of your vehicle to power your trailer signal lights. It is compatible with five pole, six pole, and seven pole adapters that we do sell separately on our website. And what's nice with this harness, it does connect very quickly and easily. All you have to do is locate your connection points, which will be behind the tail lights. And then you'll take these plug-in connectors right here. There's two of them, one for each side. Right here, you put one on the driver's side, one on the passenger side. Take your white wire and ground it, and then run this power wire to your vehicle's battery. Now at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how all these parts will connect, but I first want to go over a few features. This tail light converter, which is this black box right here, this is to ensure that your vehicle's wiring matches that of your trailer. It is a powered module, so it does connect directly to your battery, and that's to avoid overloading your vehicle's electrical system. This is constructed using SMT technology, which means surface mount technology. Gives you more consistent, reliable performance. It'll maximize your trailer light yield and intensity while producing minimal heat, and it ensures superior operation in rough road conditions. If you notice, it does even include this dust cover that'll go on to your four-way. <clears throat> and you can actually put it on there and leave it on there if you prefer, <clears throat> but what'll when you're not plugged into your trailer, you can use that cover just to cover those terminals to protect them from the elements or from any damage. Now the maximum amperage on this harness for the stop and turn light circuits is 3 amps per circuit. For the tail and running lights is 6 amps per circuit. Now it does include everything shown here on the table and just to go through them, <clears throat> I want to start, it does give you a nice set of instructions that will describe with pictures how it all goes together and where your connection points are located. But basically what you'll do is go to the rear of your vehicle behind the tail lights. And then you have these two connectors right here. You'll start on the driver's side and take the one that has a yellow wire in it. That's for the driver's side. Unplug behind your tail lights, plug these into there. Take the other one with the green wire, has a length of green wire. That goes over to the passenger side. Same way, plug that in. <clears throat> Once those are all plugged in, you can run your four-way with its wire out towards the trailer and this uh, uh, tire light or tail light converter right here it does have some uh, weight to it so you do want to connect that to a good or attach it to a good flat surface so it doesn't bounce around they do give you some double face tape to do that once you get that all tied down then we got two remaining wires to connect now the white wire that has an eyelet on it that's your ground you do want to connect that to a nearby ground if possible if not they do give you a screw to make your own ground and then the remaining wire is your power wire. That's what needs to run to the front of the vehicle. And they do give you the length of wire and all your connectors to do that. So what you'll do is take a butt connector, make your connection to one end of your length of wire, and then run this wire up to the front of your vehicle to where your battery is. But you don't want to connect it directly to the battery. You want to run it through this fuse holder. So you'll take the second butt connector, make it connect to one side of that fuse holder. And then on the other side, you'll take this eyelet connector, connect it, and that's what will connect to your battery. Once that's connected, open it up, take the included 10 amp fuse, <clears throat> make sure it inserts into your inline fuse holder correctly, and then take your cap, put it over there, and your system will be all ready to operate. If you notice, they do give you some extra cable ties that might take up any slack in the wiring. And they do even include a little tube of black silicone in case you have to seal anything where you go through the car or to the outside. But that should do it for the review on this Kurt T-Connector vehicle wiring harness with the four-way flat trailer connector. 